Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video view of the Roshui brand. Their handheld LCR meter, which is inductance, capacitance, and resistance with digital bridge circuitry and a large 2.8 inch backlit LCD HD color screen. Gets great customer ratings and it's a great price for what this product does. Wide application, this handheld LCR meter for measuring parameters of inductors, capacitors, resistors, and other components has test frequency choices. We're going to show that. Remote communication function. Use this cable. You can get it to work on your PC and look at the data. That's a very high uh, definition twisted TFT display. And uh, it's 2.8 inches and it's backlit as I mentioned. And it's going to allow you to see everything that you're looking at. There's a nice user, user interface in here. We're going to show that. So a lot of times you have capacitors, inductors, and resistors laying around in your lab and uh, you don't know what they are, they're hard to read, or the printing has come off them. This is a way to measure that. And it's, it's amazing because you've got inductance and capacitance and resistance. Most multimeters just do capacitance. This does inductance also. And the reason it could do this is because it actually generates a frequency on here. The frequency is right on this button right here. And if you hit that frequency, you can see right there that it's changing the rate right there. Up on top, 10, 100 kilohertz, 120 hertz, 1 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 40 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz. So what that means is the frequency that it is testing the capacitor is changing because uh, the frequency is going to determine the effective resistance of that capacitor. So if you're using it in a 100 Hz, 100 Hz system, it's going to have a much different um, capacitance than at 100 kHz. So they give you the option to change that. It's also automatic mode on there. You also have a lot of other adjustments on here of various things. You have um, the voltage. You can see there's a voltage right there, the level. You can actually uh, change that level. And uh, what's nice about that is sometimes you want to have a larger voltage level when you're testing a capacitor or an inductor. And that allows you to manipulate that level right there. You also have range adjustments. You can see that it goes to auto or it has various resistances right there. That's the internal impedance of the driver that's inside here that is testing the inductors or the capacitors or the resistor. There's just so much on here that you could learn and just experiment with. It's pretty impressive. The manual does go over everything that is on here. There's just a whole slew of operations in the software and parameters. Uh, it would take me three hours to go over that or more. But uh, my recommendation is you just give it a try and you go and you experiment. Now I'm going to show you the basic operation of this for testing my resistors and capacitors and inductors. Now it's great that they included an AC adapter because a lot of times companies don't do that. There's also a data cable so the charge is really simple. We're going to plug this right in to a 120 volt power supply AC outlet I should say and on the side of the unit right here is the type C plug right there and you could charge it and there's a little charge indicator right there letting you know that it's charging. If you hold this down, it'll turn it off and then at this point it's just going to charge it and give you a charge display on there. Very simple. So there's two main ways you could check your components. You have these built-in slots right here. Then you have your traditional connections and they do give you a uh, test leads. In terms of accuracy, you want to go as close as you can to there. This is a little bit less accurate, but it's a little more convenient to do to test your resistor capacitors. So here's a resistance box, which allows me to put different resistors in there, and I have a calibrated amount. So, and I connected this up with the test leads. It automatically detected it was resistance. And again, you could change the frequency right there, because there is a slight difference depending on the frequency that you're pulsing because you've got capacitance and inductance on this, which is just because of the wires and the internal wiring of this box itself. But you can see it's, it is displaying the resistance and I could change this 
and I can go to higher values and it's measuring the correct amount that's on this box really accurately also. And again, that frequency is beneficial so that if you're using a resistor in a circuit, you're at 10 kilohertz, hit this button, you want to know what it is at 40 kilohertz, then it's going to tell you the resistance at that frequency. Here's a capacitance box. Now, you've got capacitors probably laying around in drawers, which are uncalibrated. This is calibrated for testing purposes. But the great thing is that you can put your, your capacitors that are laying around your lab that you don't know anymore or you're curious, and it'll tell you. So right here, I can change the value. This is in microfarads, 0.0068, and this is 6.511 nanofarads, which is correct. And I believe this more than I believe the label on here. And again, this is at certain frequencies, so that's at 100 kilohertz. Before I started, I hit the capacitor button right there. If you hold this down, there's even a function to do electrolytic capacitors, which tend to have much higher voltages and, and uh, higher values. You know, the 100 microfarad, 200, 300, 500, and it will test that also. So uh, I hit the capacitor button right there. So you can also change frequency again, and there's 100 hertz. So at 100 hertz, it's looking at 6.6 .6 nanofarad. So if I increase the frequency, there's 40 kilohertz, and it's showing it at 6.507. And if I click this down right here to lower numbers, to the lower capacitor, 0.0015 microfarads, and showing 1.47 nanofarads, which is the same. So this is invaluable to know the capacitance that's on your component when it's in a circuit board, and you could change the frequency again to get an accurate reading. And again, I'm just touching the surface. There is a ton of features on this product. So here's another example. I have a container full of small inductors, and I have it put right on here. I powered it on and I hit this button here three times till I got inductance shown and you see it's about 589, 578 and that's including the connection here. Again, if you put it right on here, it'd be a little bit more accurate. And let's look at the frequency that's at 1 kilohertz. At 40 kilohertz, it becomes 804 nanohenries. And uh, so the, again, this is invaluable. So if I were to uh, lose my documentation on these inductors, and uh, now I could essentially put them on this device. And get an accurate reading of the microhenries right there. That's seven microhenries, and that is correct for what is on the listing right there and that's at 40 kilohertz and again we could change the frequency at 100 kilohertz you can see it goes to 7.2 micro henry's so this is invaluable this is why this is such an important product if you're into the, this electronics and you have components that you have to test highly recommend this product for that so here's a, another example here's a crossover network for a speaker and if I put it across that coil right there we're no longer in the nano henry or micro henry's that is showing up as 1.12 milli henry's and this is going to be used in the audio range so we can see at 100 hertz which is what is typically going to be used at uh, or 120 hertz there's one kilohertz which is the reference standard for most audio components. So you see it's 1.2 millihenries for that coil. And that makes sense because that's one of the uh, low frequency by bypass inductors. On this crossover, not only is there inductors, but there's big non-polarized capacitors. And if I go across that one right there, it's showing 3.9 microfarad. And that's exactly what is on the label of that capacitor. So after testing and using the Roshui brand, their handheld LCR meter with a digital bridge and large 2.8 inch backlit color HD screen. What do I think about this product? I'm impressed with the accuracy. Just take the time. There's a lot of features on this device and just take your time to learn them. 
and it uh, works really well. I'm impressed with the screen, the accuracy, the menu system on here, the simplistic way to measure resistance, capacitance, the included adapter, the cable, and the test lead. You can't go wrong. This is a great value. I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you alert to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There will be an ordering link in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.